question is uh, about Sufism. Zor. He says um, in some countries Sufism is uh, very much. Uh, How do you say in Bangla? Sufi? Sufi. Tatta is not ism. Tatta is something else. So, how do you translate it into Bangla Sufism? Uh, Sufi Bad or Sufi Motabad. This, this sort of translation. Yes. And you understood it, man. But uh, in Bengali they use it, uh, Sufism or the, this sort of word that you use it in Bengali. Bengali. Yeah. So the question is, uh, he says in some countries this is very popular. Uh, some people say, <coughs> now the real question starts. So some people say that the system of Piri Muridi actually originated from this Sufism. So how does uh, Islam um, see or how is the Sufism in, in the uh, Islam? Islam? There is no trace of Sufism to be found at the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa That was a time when in law which is supposed to be uh, appropriated by ulama, but the true ulama I mean, and uh, Sufism all went together hand in hand. And the greatest Sufi in reality, in the sense that he understood the pith of things and the very deep meaning of things, that was Ahadu Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So later on, these two things bifurcated. Two different channels flowed from that time onward later on. Malviyat or Mullahism became completely, not Mullahism, but Mullahism, became completely segregated from Sufism. And Sufism was a reaction to Mullahism. Mullahs paid greater stress on formalities. And Sufis thought that unless you know the inner truth, the true meaning and emphasize on that, there is no point in just formality. For instance, when you say the prayers and just say the prayers and utter the words normally said in the prayer, but don't think deeply into the meaning of the words of prayer. That would be meaningless. So Sufism, once we, we were bifurcated from Mullahism, they went to other extreme and they abandoned for formality altogether. While at the time of Rasulullah formality and true Sufism went hand in hand. It was impossible not to say a prayer and just remember Allah. But Sufis started a new faith in fact. And they said there is no need for any formality of saying prayer, five times, etc. Just remember Allah and that's enough. And later on, Sufism took another turn for the verse. They thought that music enhances spirituality. And they turned to music and even dancing. And they thought a sort of ecstasy was created because of music and dancing and they thought it was spiritualism while it had nothing to do with spiritualism. This further led to Kavalis and great Kavalis used to sing songs and people said Wava and sometimes they created a sense of self-forgetfulness and did hal like this. And uh, to what purpose? To nothing. <coughs> after the Kavali, after the sense of spiritualism has gained, they went to the world exactly as bad as they, they were before. So this is not true Sufism. So the moment it got bifurcated into two channels, it began to deteriorate further, both the channels began to deteriorate.